is the president's son. He's off limits. Suddenly, he takes two steps forward, pushing you against the wall. Girl, you're gonna lose your job. And I'm here for it. Is he wearing a crop top? And is that a tattoo? Oh, it's your second night in the White House. And for the first time ever, your heart seems to be controlling your head. But you don't care. about right 
multi-billion dollar business. It's meaningful. Right. Meaningful. The most meaningful thing about this entire thing, situation right now is Marge's outfit. I'm living for this purple look that she has. If you do this again, I'll fire you, Haley. Oh. Not looking great for us. Actually, you know what? You're right. This is not what I want to do anymore. So, I quit. Oh, I love that for us. <laughs> not the shit. Girl, you did it to yourself. Two months later. Why did I quit my job? You know, girl, I think we're all wondering the same thing. That was so stupid. I have always wanted to, like, walk out of a job, like, quit, have, like, a dramatic exit. Has anyone else wanted to do that, or is that just me? I never have. I think I'm too much of a people pleaser to ever, like, actually do that, but I can't say the thought has crossed my mind. It's been months, and I've applied to every political journalist, journalist position going and nothing. I'm never going to get my dream job. It said pay off student debts. I'm just going to ignore that. In this episode of fantasy, I don't have student debts, okay? I managed to pay for my degree with scholarships, so I don't want student debt in my episode story either. This is my fantasy. Let me live it. I've done everything right and I can't even get an interview. Hello. Oh, pick who you want as your best friends. We've got Jax, Wesley, and Allie. I think I'm gonna go with Allie. I like her outfit. That's <laughs> that's purely the only thing that I use to decide that. Allie, I can hear you talking to yourself in there. Ugh. Open up. I have coffee. Coffee. Speaking of coffee, I mean, I actually don't have coffee today. This is a vanilla bean frappuccino. It's basically just a milkshake, but we can pretend. It's delicious. Where's the coffee? Oh, no way she lied. I lied. It was the only way I knew you'd open the door. I should have known better. You look like shit. We're wearing a floral romper, a whole arm of bracelets. We have our makeup and our hair on. Ah, uh, thanks, bestie. First you lie about food and now you insult me. I'm sorry, but you've been cooped up for days. If I was cooped up for days, I would not look this good. What kind of friend would I be without initiating an intervention? And we promised we would always be honest with each other. So, so here I am, being honest. So I need to tell you that. Vampires have more color on their cheeks than you do right now. I wish I was a vampire. I hope that this president's son ends up being a vampire and this is just a knockoff Twilight. I love Twilight. <laughs> you know, there are some things you can just keep to yourself. I'd rather not. It's more fun this way. Ali seems like kind of rude. Anyway, I assumed you needed to be fed and watered. Yes, I'll take a cappuccino with ten donuts, please. I'm so hungry. As long as they're Krispy Kreme. See, I need to care for you. Or who knows what could happen. It's annoying that you're right. So, coffee. And then you can tell me why your face looks like a baboon's ass. I think we look cute. <laughs> Fine. This is a cute little coffee shop. I like all the plants. So what happened? Well, no one will hire me. I got rejected from another job. Maybe I should just go back to writing for gossip magazines. You hated that. Money is money, but it doesn't buy happiness. So true, Ellie. No, but it buys me food. Even more true. Comey, you have a point, but... This is your dream, Ailey. This is what student debt is for. <laughs> you know more on this country's policies than most politicians. I mean, you can literally recite the inauguration speeches from the last six pe presidents. Even the one that was sworn in before you were born. Just hold out. I don't know, Allie. You really think so? Maybe you're right, but... I'm running out of money, and it's not like I have anyone to bail me out. Plus, you just had to drag me out of my apartment. What will become of me in another month? You make a good point. See, I should just take a job writing about some trash for a gossip magazine. We're awfully judgmental. You should hold out for your dream, Ailey. Now, instead of sitting here down in the dumps, you're getting a makeover and a new perspective on life. Why do we need a makeover? I mean, I love a free makeover. I'll take it. Whatever. Suddenly, you feel your phone vibrate in your pocket, making you jump. Are we getting a call back? Hello? Is that Miss Jean? Speaking. We recently received your application.
investigation to be the official White House reporter, and the president likes the sound of you. Are you telling me? <laughs> we went from having no one answer our applications to the president directly hiring us. Something is suspicious. That is weird. But since this is a job that requires you to live in the White House, the president wants to meet you and decide for himself. What? Are you able to come in for an interview right now? Right now? I need to shower first. I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. Thank you, God. I can come right now. Fabulous. What's the address? The White House. <laughs> she ate us up. She ate us up, honestly. Right, of course. Well, we'll see you in an hour. How does she know that we're an hour? Like, what if we were on the other side of the country or something? Oh my god. What? This can't be happening. Tell me I'm dreaming right now. No, you're very much awake. Are you sure? Certain. Why? The president, the president of the United States, he wants to interview me for a job. What? When? Now. Why the hell are we still sitting here then? Oh, if you don't move your ass right now, I will set my mother on you. I don't know what that means, but I'm Yes, I'll be back after the 
relationship before, you know I don't agree with them. Agree with them? What does that even mean? Exactly, so you won't get distracted by him. It's impossible. You're right. Just then, your phone buzzes. Omji, it's the agent. Answer it. Hello? Haley, I have news. Will you get the job? Find out in the next chapter. I'm pretty sure we get the job. <laughs> Could you imagine? We don't. They're like, JK. They're like, story's over. You failed the interview. Episode 2 of The President's Son. Let's just get into it. Haley, the president has hired you. You will also receive a starting bonus of $3,000. He thought you looked incredibly professional. And first impressions are everything. I suggest you spend it on new clothes for your job, Miss Jean. Oh, love a $3,000 shopping spree. Lastly, a car will be there to pick you up tomorrow morning. Good luck, Miss Jean. We slayed it. Love that for us. I got the job. Your mind races a thousand miles a minute, unable to process that it was only this morning that you had almost lost hope. I knew it. And they've given me a starting bonus for a new wardrobe. This is amazing. Girl, we are going shopping. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love shopping. I still have no idea what to wear. Show me your choices and I'll help you pick. Okay. Um, we've got this little, like, pinky florally. Okay, it's very blue. The black's a neutral. I think I like the neutrals the best. Yes. Cute. This is exactly the look I want for my new job. You're going to slay in your new role. Buy this wardrobe and rock your role. I feel like episode gave me a $3,000 shopping spree bonus with all these gems. Right, I've got my outfits. You're going to look amazing on your first day. The next day, you stand outside your apartment, anxiously clutching your laptop. Today's the day. I'm finally going to be a real political journalist. Suddenly, your phone bangs. Oh, just a heads up. I read that Aiden got royally screwed over by the last White House journalist. She exposed everything she had about him. That's why she got fired. Oh, the tea. That makes a lot of sense, actually. As to why he cornered us in the hallway. So, make sure you stay on his good side. Thanks for letting me know, Allie. Poor Aiden. But don't worry, I'm never losing this job. I need to make sure I don't do anything out of line. I can't afford to be fired. But what a scumbag she must have been. Is that my ride? A tall, kind-looking gentleman gets out of the driver's seat and opens the passenger door for you. Miss Jean, I'm here to take you to the White House. Thank you, sir. Noah, just call me Noah. Thank you, Noah. He loads your bags into the trunk while you slide in, smelling fresh leather from the seats and that aftershave. Aiden, I wanted to escort you to the White House myself. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The little bit of skin showing. Oh, is, is he wearing a crop top? And is that a tattoo? Oh, muy delicioso. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? What is going on? I didn't realize the president's son does personal pickups. I feel like I'm going to need to keep a close eye on you. Can't have you writing about just anything, can I? Oh, he's got trust issues with a capital T. I'm here to write about your policies, not what your daily workout regime is. Oh, so you think I work out? I mean, yes. Yes, I do. I didn't mean it like that. Still, we've had people like you in the White House before. And they're only after gossip. Mostly about me. You're a high-profile person. She's like, it comes to the territory, bozo. <laughs> well, I don't need my life being public knowledge, okay? Ali said he's been hurt before by the last White House reporter. I can't let him think that I'm going to screw him over. I must reassure him. Promise that you're not going to write about him, yeah. Aiden, I'm not some gossip columnist. I've worked my ass off to be here, and I've given up a lot to write about something I care about. So, whatever impression you have of me right now is clearly the wrong one. I'm a professional, and I will act accordingly. Aiden likes your answer. It seems I do have the wrong impression of you. His gaze is making you nervous. 
a spell already. I'm glad we have an understanding. I have to say, though, so far, I'm impressed. Impressed. Aiden looks out the window and you see the White House behind him. We're here. We are. <laughs> Girl, pay attention to him. She was looking at nothing but him. You were at the White House yesterday, but seeing it again, and this time knowing you're going to be staying here from now on, makes your heart skip a beat. This is my moment. It's not as glamorous as it looks. Oh, really? I find that hard to believe. It's more like a jail. But, anyway. Jail. Noah's gonna show you to your room. It was an interesting ride, but I have important things to do now. Take care, Miss Jean. And with that, Aiden exits the car and walks toward the grand doors of the White House, disappearing inside. Goodbye, handsome man. Relax, miss. You're gonna do just fine. Does he treat everyone like this? You're actually the first journalist he's spoken to for a while. Really? Indeed. Now follow me. I'll show you to your potential rooms. Wow, this is huge. Jesus Christ. Here's the first choice of room. First, there are more. Yep, all day rooms are on the same floor as the president and his family. This one is actually across the hall from Aiden. I'm like, I want this one. <laughs> Here's the second choice. I like the first one more still. And the third choice. Oh, I do like this one. There's one more. Oh. Okay, it's not great, is it? The bed is made from straw. Um, why would they even have that room in the White House? Um, we're going to do the one opposite Aiden's. For the plot. I like it. I want it. I got it. Yeah. I'm Ariana Grande. I'll go for the first one. Good choice. I'll get your bags now. Thank you, Noah. I'll give you a moment to unpack. Then I'll be back with your itinerary. Thank you. Yeah, let's explore our new room. Oh, girl, why does your mouth look like that? Oh, God. Oh, no. That's terrifying. I'm at the White House. Okay, girl, drop it down. This is what you've always wanted, and nothing is going to stand in your way. Right, let's get changed into something smart. Okay, you got this, girl. You're kicked out of your daydream by a bang on the door. Come in. Miss Jean, I have your itinerary. Noah, call me Haley. Okay, Haley. So, what's the plan for today? Well, your itinerary is as follows. At 11 a.m., you have a meeting with the vice president. Only an introduction. She's a busy woman. Then, 12 p.m., the chief of staff to the president. She would like to fill you in all about the policies, so this must be reported upon. He went on to reel off the rest of the day's meetings to you. But the whole thing is surreal. You still can't believe you're here. Let's do this. You head off early to make sure you're not late, but after 20 minutes of walking... You still can't find the room you're supposed to be in. Where the hell am I? Did they not give us a map or something? Damn it, I'm gonna be late. Aiden, is everything okay? You look panicked. Oh, well, I think I'm freaking out. What, really? Do I need to call someone? N no, I'll be okay. I've just got my first day jitters. By the way, you look... Yes. You look great. Oh my god, this little thing, I just pulled it, you know, out of my closet. Ready for work? I, I mean, I could have sworn he just blushed. All right, thank you. Are you lost? No, but you wouldn't happen to have a map of this place on you right now. Aiden chuckles, the sound of which makes your soul feel lighter. Girl, look at the way, look at the way I'm looking at him. Girl, stand the fuck up, stand up. City girls down, city girls down. No, unfortunately I don't. But I can walk you to your next meeting if it helps. I know my way around, and I have some time, so I can take you. It also probably wouldn't be good for you to get lost on your first day and run late for a meeting. Your eyes lock, and you feel butterflies erupt in your stomach. His smile is disarming, and his entire aura is seductive. Oh my goodness. He's right. I don't want to get lost and be late to a meeting on my first day. I should accept his help, and then I can spend more time with him. Of 
out as he end and you take it, trying to ignore the fact that his touch just sends shivers down your spine. For someone that's, like, supposed to be really suspicious of the White House journalist report or whatever, he's, like, immediately just fallen in love with us. <laughs> I thought he would be a little bit more standoffish at first. I'm so glad I made this meeting on time. Oh my gosh, it's Vice President Fowler. I should greet her professionally. Madame Vice President, it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Oh, darling, there's no need for such formalities in my office. By the way, that outfit is gorgeous. Why, thank you. You'll have to tell me where you shop. I will let you in on all the secrets. <laughs> As if we didn't just buy this outfit. I'm so happy to see another woman in the White House. You know this country would be run better if it was only us girls. Tell me about it. Now, how can I help? Well, this is a quick introduction to hear about anything you need me to report on. Well, there's a lot. Let's get started. After an amazing first meet and greet with the Vice President, you feel your confidence surge. You're ready for more now. Next appointment, Chief of Staff. God, not her again. Oh, is this the one that hates us? Yeah, okay, Ursula. Why do I feel like this is going to be a nightmare? She hasn't even noticed me. I should say every something. Good afternoon, Miss Wren. It's nice to see you again. Oh, it's you. Okay, girl. Miss Wren. Yes, yes, I can hear you. Gosh, I can't believe they hired you. What do you want? Well, damn. She pays no attention to you whatsoever. You may as well be invisible right now. This woman is terrifying. Well, spit it out. Or have you forgotten how to talk? Ma'am, I... Ma'am, is that it? So you can't speak? Um, excuse me, you just cut us off and didn't give me a chance to finish my sentence. You absolute loser. This woman is awful. I should visibly eye roll and show that she's annoyed you. Yeah, honestly, I would too. I'm here to discuss the policy says the president will be signing off on today. I'm sorry, did you just say you're here to discuss policies? No, kiddo, you're here to listen. Just then, Aiden strides into the room. Oh my gosh, not him coming to save us. His forehead furrowed. He's visibly angry at something. Are you bullying the staff again, Ursula? <gasps> yeah, that's right. Pipe down. Rat. My guard dog will back me up. I have never seen anyone's demeanor change so quickly. Oh, Aiden missed me already. We only saw each other this morning. This morning? Is there something going on between- Oh, girl, no, there's not. Get over it. Only briefly, thank God. What's going on? How can I help you today, Aiden? Actually, I've been informed that I need to sit in on this briefing. By who? By the president. Fine, then I'll begin. Throughout the whole hour, Ursula doesn't pull her gaze away from Aiden. Everything she says is directed at Aiden and Aiden only. Something must be going on between them. I could feel Aiden behind me, the heat from his body, making my skin tingle and my mind wonder. Hopefully I am also making you tingle, 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 tingle. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help myself. But your thoughts are interrupted by her. Any questions? From Aiden only, I mean. None from me, though. You know I found your presentation a little dull. I love how Aiden has done nothing but just shit talk this woman this entire meeting and we're like is there something going on between them does he like her girl well i thought it was really eye-opening incredible to hear history in the making politics is eye-opening especially when you don't know anything about it i really dislike her really you thought so i mean i just love politics it's good that you're passionate about this Haley. I really am. Are we done here? <laughs> yeah, honestly, Ursula, I feel you. Are we done here? Yes, ma'am. Good. Oh, and Aiden, my dress for the ball arrived today. I can't wait for you to see it. Girl, he is not into you. Give it up. Give it up. Right. Okay, there's definitely something going on here. Come on, Haley. I'll walk you to your next meeting. Actually, 
actually, if you don't mind, I had like a private word with our new intern. Intern? I am not an intern. I'll wait outside the door for you. Ursula moves closer to you and eyes you up as soon as the door shuts and Aiden is out of earshot. She unleashes on you. You keep your filthy little balls off him, intern. You understand? That's it. I've had enough of her attitude. How dare she? Does she think Aiden is just some piece of meat? Aiden's waiting outside, so I'm sure you'll hear this too. I need to stand up for myself. Yeah, we're gonna cuss her out, cuss her out. I'm not here to sleep with the president's son. Maybe that's your way to get ahead, but it's not mine. Oh. I will be doing my job as the White House reporter. You just better hope that this little conversation doesn't make it into my next article. You wouldn't dare. Oh, so you think you've got me sussed out already. One minute you think I can't read, the next you're threatened. If you're going to insult me, at least try to be consistent. Oh. We ate her up. Watch your step intern. Maybe you should watch yours. Though, I'm not sure why we threatened to write about this, because didn't we literally say that we're not going to write about, like, gossip? Okay, whatever. And with that, you walk out of the room, feeling your dream vanishing in front of your eyes. Is everything okay? Absolutely. She seems nice. I don't think we're talking about the same person. But I'm glad you answered back. And thank you for having my back. So he did hear us. Why are we acting surprised? We knew he was going to hear us. We literally said it. Now, what's your next meeting? Why are you escorting me again? He's obsessed. He's obsessed with us. Maybe. I can get there myself this time. Don't worry about me. But something tells me I need to keep an eye on you. Right. Aiden, I'm not going to break your trust. I promise. Like, that's kind of what trust is, though. It's like, can you trust them to keep their promise? Like, I don't know why you would believe us. Really, he doesn't know us. Well, then, you won't mind if I escort you to your next meeting. Okay, you win this one. Since it will save me from getting lost again, you can escort me. Good. You and Aiden actually seem to get along as you walk into the White House. He's curious about you and your life. You try to reciprocate and ask about his, but he shoots you down every time. In spite of that, he's the perfect gentleman, turning into your personal guide as you both navigate the corridors of the White House. Sooner than you think, you find yourself arriving outside the door of your next meeting. Well, thank you for walking me to my next meeting. National Security Advisor. Watch out for the spitting. Spitting? Oh, I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, enjoy your meeting. Aiden walks away, and without looking back, you can feel your head starting to fill with thoughts that beckon you to follow it. This is your dream job. Don't fuck it up. Very rude, all of us. And so, fuck it up. You get back to your room for that evening, wiping your face over and over. He wasn't wrong about the spitting. Ugh, ew. Ugh, I need a shower. And then I need to write up the article. You open your laptop, staring at a flashing cursor on a blank page. But all you can think about is him. That boy is clouding my mind. I need to stop thinking about him. Girl, we are digmatized. Ooh, we're digmatized. It's our second day at work, and we are digmatized. No one is going to get between you and your dream job. But you need to get him out of your head. I know no one mentioned a gym on the tour of the White House. Maybe that will take my mind off him. Maybe I should go and suss it out. I need to burn off all this excess energy. Okay, girl, yeah, let's go work out. I want to see you work out, the man work out. I like these, like, leather workout pants we're rocking, okay? Oh. The tattoos, oh my, I was not prepared. Oh, God, Aiden's here. Ah, okay. That's episode two. Episode three of the president's son. Okay, yes, he's just punching that bag. I do like his tattoos, though. I like the flowers. And he's topless. Why does he look so good? Okay, I'm staring. This is not a good look. Maybe I should pretend I haven't seen him. That's what I would do. I would literally just act like I'm oblivious. Hey, Haley. Damn it. Oh, hi. You're working out late. I couldn't sleep. I feel pretty 
wired after my first day. I see. So, it was a good day then. Really good. Your heart flutters as his eyes fix on yours. You know, normally I get to work out alone. I don't normally enjoy company in here. Oh, shall I leave? No, no, you're fine. Happy for you to be here. Look, he's literally obsessed. He's obsessed. My favorite romance trope is when, like, the guy falls first. I love it. So, I'm living, I'm living for this. Wow, he is the king of mixed signals. You know, ever since you've arrived here, I can't seem to... You can't seem to what? Aiden walks towards you, and what was once a flutter is now a beating drum in your chest. I shouldn't say anymore. It's... It's probably not something you want to hear. I want him to open up to me, and I want to know what these mixed signals are about, and we are going to find that out. Aiden, I want to know. Believe it or not, your opinion matters to me. Oh. I have to admit, you're different. Different. Yes, you're different. You've taken me by surprise. Sorry, 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 sorry. And against all my better judgment, I like you. You like me. Yes. I do. Sorry, I needed a screenshot of that. He starts to prickle your cheeks as you look into his eyes. His fingertips brush the soft skin of your jawline and send shivers rippling down your spine. I need a screenshot of that too. Can this really be happening? He tilts your face to his and narrows his eyes before licking his lips. Is he gonna kiss us right now? Aiden, I... You what? I... Oh, girl, no. What are we doing? You're right. I need to go. Enjoy your workout. He ran away so fast. Yeah, we probably should not get involved with him, girl. Like, we just got this job. We will get fired. What just happened? I'm, I'm sure I felt something. And why did it feel like he was going to kiss me? The way he looked at me, it made me weak. Ah, the forbidden romance. Stop it. This is a mess. I need to focus on my career. I'm not going to play whatever games he's playing. I'm here to work. Work, 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 work. It's me happy. Work, 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 work. Look out of love, Rihanna. Allie, just when I need you. How did your first day go? It went... I I'm having life drama already. Everyone here is hard to deal with. Especially Aiden, Allie. He's getting under my skin. Of course he is. He has an eight pack and eyes I drown in. <laughs> That's so funny. Seriously, you're supposed to be encouraging me away from guys right now. I'm doing what I think is best. You know I don't believe in relationships and you know why. I don't need this kind of distraction right now. Okay, I, we need to figure out why we don't believe in relationships because I, I don't understand. I know you'll be just fine. You always know what the right thing to do is. Do I? You do. And when the time comes, I know you'll do it. Wow. Allie actually is a good friend for once. You hang up the phone, Allie's words and Aiden's actions completely clouding your mind. But you manage to your laptop and start writing your first piece. Before you know it, it's 1am and you finally hit send on the email and fall asleep. Okay, I love sleeping with a full piece of makeup on. Miss, are you up? There's a car waiting for you. <gasps> what? What time is it? 10 a.m. Oh no. I'll be five minutes, Noah. I can't hold up the precedent. Girl, we can't be late on our literal second day to work. I'm just gonna have to wear... Okay, it's cute, simple. When you arrive at a rally, the president will be making a speech to his constituents. The energy in the audience is phenomenal. You've been to political rallies before, but being on this side of the barrier is a completely different feeling. Are you okay? Yeah, just a bit overwhelmed. Get some air then. You have 20 minutes. Oh. Wait, he looks good in that little vest. You head to the back of the stadium and see Aiden there with Ursula. Anyway, you're my partner for the White House ball, right? I never agreed to such a thing, Ursula. White House ball, what's that? Crap, I shouldn't be eavesdropping.
dropping. I should run. <laughs> Girl, just run. Run. No, 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 no. Haley, uh, I'm seeing us running full fledged away from them. That's embarrassing. Join us. Yeah, I don't think Ursula's going to be happy about that. Intern, he's dropping, I see, snooping around for an article, probably. I don't think she's like that. You shouldn't trust her. This bitch, really, I'm going to stick up for yourself. I'll have you know, I'm extremely trustworthy. And with all due respect, I'm not interested in your drama. You seem to really think I care about what goes on in your life. And I don't. But I know a lot of journalists who might be interested in exposing you for who you really are. Shall I give them a call? Oh. Period. You have nothing to expose. Don't I? Oh, not the wink. Not the wink. Anyway, I'm just here minding my own business. Carry on talking about whatever it was. I'll be leaving now. Bye. Actually, we finished talking. No, we haven't. Yes, we have. Whatever. I need to go prep your father. This discussion isn't over. Gosh, this is awkward. What should I do? Yeah, let's apologize for interrupting. Sorry, I didn't mean to. You didn't. You saved me, actually. Saved you. No further comments. <laughs> he said, I plead the fifth. Right, you can't trust me. Okay, I'll give you a chance. Do you want to get a bad green room coffee? Yes, yes I do. Sure, I have 20 minutes. So, what's going on? Ursula and I had a one night thing. No! No! That I regret more than anything I've ever done in my life. Happy that you have a regret that eats you up. It doesn't make me happy. Not really. I'd rather you be happy. You're something else, you know. Why? Because I care about you as a human. <laughs> oh, so funny. Something else being surprising. Yeah, you keep saying that. There was a moment where you felt your heart skip a beat. Or could it be anxiety? Uh, knowing me? Probably just anxiety. If you want to talk about it, I promise it's all off the record. And I'm hoping I haven't given you a chance to not stress me yet. This is too long a pause. He probably doesn't want to say anything else. Well, I'll leave you to it then. Look, I'm sorry I'm an ass. But this place, what I'm supposed to be, it kind of makes it hard not to be. It's a long story, but if you want to listen, maybe I can tell you more. It looks like he really wants to talk, and I want to be there for him. Yeah. Uh, I really feel like a new woman Spending all these gems The White House makes you an ass I mean, yes but is That logic kind of checks out The White House It's a facade of fake wholesomeness It's the only place Where you can change millions of people's lives In one day It's an amazing place And I'm so honored to be here Yeah, we love to like hype up politics In the White House As if we like realize how tragic and bad and most of the time problematic it can be. You'll see, things aren't always what they seem. And what is that supposed to mean? I've shared enough. Oh, the tea, the tea. And with that, he walks away. Aiden, yes, if you don't like the direction, you need to change your route. Talking in riddles, are you now? Just think about it. Think, where is he supposed to go? Change your route. Do you want him to go be the president's son of another fucking country or something? Like, what do you mean? After the speech, you get back to your room and stare at the cursor flashing on your screen. So much happened today, but you can't focus. Your mind is racing. What's going on between him and Ursula? And will you ever win his trust? I need to get out of here. I haven't explored the rose gardens yet. Oh, and I can guess who's going to show up here at the rose gardens. Very Akatar. Love that for us. This is perfect. I'll just lie here for a moment and clear my head. You lie on your back facing
gazing up at the stars. I can't be distracted. Who knows if I'll ever get a chance like this in my life. And I know what happens to women that give up their career for a man. Oh, Aiden, you scared me. Yeah, I knew he would be here. Ring, ding, ding, ding. I'm the winner. I scared you. You're the one lying in the middle of the White House grounds in the middle of the night. I just came to check and see if you were dead or not. I have writer's block. Isn't writing about groundbreaking policy inspiring enough? You wouldn't think so. To be honest, I feel a bit overwhelmed. Distracted, maybe. You spot a helmet tucked under his arm. Were you going somewhere? Can't sleep. So I thought I'd spend some time away from this jail. Wanna come? Really? You're inviting me along? Not worried what I'm gonna say about you? Are you going to say anything? Of course not. Then, wanna come? Hell yes. Where are we going? He holds out his hand. Follow me. What should I do? Uh, take his hand, girly, come on. Yes, I know we're not supposed to be throwing our career away for a man. But we're not. We're just seeing him on the side. Girls just want to have fun, you know. It's harmless. It's harmless. You take his hand, feeling a wave of excitement ripple through you. You haven't told me where we're going yet. You'll see. Here, take this. I've never been on a motorbike before. Ah, no, I'm on. See how we're riding on his motorcycle. I'll die. There's something that just feels right as your arms tighten around his waist and your bodies press up against each other. It's your second night in the White House, and for the first time ever, your heart seems to be controlling your head. But you don't care. When the rumble of the motorcycle finally stops and you're faced with an incredible sight. This is... beautiful, right? Are we gonna kiss? Are we gonna kiss? <gasps> I needed a drink refill, and I also put on my headphones, so let's get started with episode four. Looks like Aiden's got a wild side. Are you ready for it? Okay, Taylor Swift reference, I see you. Beautiful, right? Absolutely. This viewpoint is stunning. I honestly didn't think you could get a view like this from anywhere in the city. Don't tell anyone. It's my secret spot. I feel like this is a trope that I thought would be a lot more common in real life growing up. Like, I always expected, like, a, a, a someone in middle school, like, a guy to take me to his secret place where he goes to think. Like, has anyone had this happen to them in real life? Let me know in the comments. And you're sharing it with me. Seems that I am.
sorry, it's just the way that that's worded is so funny. Does that mean you're not free because people judge you on your tattoos? That even though I treat women with respect, I'm classed as a player. That because I've been seen at four bars, it means that I'm some sort of booze hound. I obey the law. I just don't look squeaky clean. But the world doesn't seem to see that. Oh, your life is so hard, Aiden. Let me kiss it better, you know? So to me, it's a jail. It makes you feel like you have to be someone else. I mean, I get that. Look a certain way, act and speak like they expect you to, and I don't believe in that. It doesn't matter what you look like where you go, it doesn't define you as a person. Pax King, speak your truth. Now you are the one that's th surprising. So, this is not going to turn up in your next article. I left a gossip magazine to do this. If I wanted to write gossip, I wouldn't have left. Like, yeah, how many times do we have to go over this same conversation? I see. Well, just don't tell anyone about this viewpoint. It will be our little secret. Let's go, shall we? Does anyone talk like this in real life? You arrive at the White House and he walks you back to your room. He looks into your eyes and smiles softly. You can feel your heart starting to race as he appears to inch closer. Frozen to the spot and in an attempt to compose yourself, you bite your lip. <laughs> he doesn't miss it and his eyes linger on your lips a lot longer than you expected. So, I guess this is good night. Did you want me to come in or something? What? I kind of do, but I can't let him think that. So, I'm going to hit him with sarcasm. You won't ever have me falling at your feet. Don't worry. I don't know what that has to do with him coming inside, but go off. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say that. That wasn't very professional. It's okay. I was just joking. Is it bad that I wish he wasn't joking? But... Oh, your boyfriend isn't going to get jealous of you spending your time with me past midnight, is he? I've never been in a relationship. That's actually a little surprising, is it? Absolutely. So no one will mind if I do this. Do what? He walks towards you, so close you can feel his breath on your skin, making it prickle with pleasure. Prickle, prickle. That's a good trigger word. Prickle, prickle, prickle. Prickle, prickle. Let me do this. Prickle, prickle. Anyway, sorry. Back to the smut. Is he going to kiss me? You're driving me crazy. Ah. I feel the same way about you. You know, I can't seem to stay away from you. That's always the line, isn't it? You feel your heart beating in your throat, but you manage to speak in a hoarse whisper. I can't seem to stay away either. Oh no, girl, this is not good. This is not good. But are we gonna kiss him? Yes, we fucking are. <clears throat> kiss me. Oh, suddenly your lips crash against each other and you're immersed in a world of feverish lust. How is this happening right now? Am I really making out with Aiden Carter, the president's son? Girl, you gonna lose your job. And I'm here for it. You feel your skin burn under his touch. Everything about this kiss is making your insides flutter. It's been a while since my last kiss, that, and that I'd left little to look forward to. But this kiss, it was addicting. Aiden. Yes, Haley. You feel one arm sneak around your waist, and suddenly your skin erupts with fire. Can you really have this much of an effect on me? Are you sure you don't want to invite me in? Your cheeks burn with fire now as every cell in your body tries to fight and feel it and fail the reaction he causes you. Aiden, this can't be happening. I know, but I can't stay away right now. <laughs> Neither can I. He pulls back, looking into your eyes, his gaze taking away every last willpower you have. Damn it, I like him. Just then, his phone buzzes, and you're both knocked out of whatever intoxicating wave washed over you. Oh, shit, I need to take this. Isn't it like 1am with elves calling you? I had a good night tonight, Ailey. 
he's the president's son. He's off limits. No, girl, you just make him fall in love with you and then you get married to him. And then you're also related to the president. He got money. I'm just saying. Think logically here. A fling. Who said anything about a fling? I've already picked out our baby's names. You can't jeopardize this opportunity. At least I managed to finish this article. And send. He's right. That really did help with my writer's block. What did you write about, girl? <laughs> she wrote fan fiction about her and him. <laughs> and send it off. Oh no. Could you imagine? The next day, you wake up having one of the best night's sleep you've had in a while. First things first, check your messages. She just like me for real. Why is my old boss texting me? I saw you last night. And I know it was you on the back of Aiden Carter's motorbike. Marge, mind your damn business. Maybe you'll be some use to me after all. Let's make a deal. How can she know it's me? Is she calling my bluff? I need to reply. What should I say? Uh, politely tell her to fuck off. Yeah. How can you prove that was me? Oh, I can. I know it's you, and I will make sure I expose you. Why would you do that? I need this story. So, I need you to tell me everything you know about Aiden Carter and his sordid past. Or I'll do everything to expose you as the woman trying to bed the president's son. Trying, girl. I nearly did. Trying my ass. Go ahead. It's not me. I don't believe you. I'll give you 24 hours. Um, or just block the number and move on with your life. Like, so what? Who cares? If, if she posts photos of you and him on the bike with helmets on, like, no one can prove that was you. Is this seriously happening? I don't know what to do. My career is on the line either way. I would just block her number. Allie, thank God. Allie just always calls us in the exact right right moment. So, I just saw a picture of Aiden on a motorbike with a girl. How was it? <laughs> okay, so they already leaked the photos then. I don't... How did you know it was me? I'd recognize those sneakers anywhere. I'm screwed, Allie. My old boss caught sight of it and wants me to admit it's me and do an article about Aiden. What am I going to do? First of all, your boss can't prove it's you. Literally. Allie is finally talking some sense into us. I love it. Second, tell me what it was like to be wrapped around him like that. Seriously, you have a boyfriend. Just because I have a boyfriend doesn't mean I can't enjoy your love life with the rich and famous. Exactly. There is no love life. I'm in love with my career. That's it. So, you love your career, but your career depends on unveiling the fact that it was in fact you on the back of that motorbike last night. And spilling Aiden's secrets. I'm ruined, are and I? Of course not. I'll just tell them there's no way of knowing and stay away from Aiden once and for all. Good plan. Now all, I have to, all you have to do is fight your own feelings and stick to it. I hate you. You love me. Fine, I love you, but I need to get ready for work. So our, our plan of action is just to avoid Aiden from now on. More boring. Boo, tomato, tomato, tomato. Miss, come in. Good morning, Haley. I'm here to brief you on your schedule. Your itinerary today is... Before you do that, can I ask you a question? Only one I can answer. How long have you known Aiden? Oh, since we were kids. I'm practically Aiden's brother. And I always look out for him. Why do you ask? He's really great, you know. He was always in the public eye. His dad has been a politician for a long time. It's hard to know who your real friends are in this situation. Aiden isn't at the easiest time making friends who aren't out to get something from him. But it's refreshing to have someone genuine around him and not one of the vultures there normally are. You're talking about me? Yes, you. Oh, and you look great in a helmet, by the way. <laughs> Noah, please. Literally everyone knows it's us. The president probably knows too. Fuck it, whatever. Just for the record, saying someone looks good in a helmet is not a compliment. <laughs> I did not think about it like that. It was supposed to be. But it's nice to see Aiden taking a liking to someone. A liking. Yes, a liking. Anyway, you're going to be late to sit in a press briefing. Noah, thank you for everything. You're most welcome.
literally his job. I don't care. Aiden, boyfriend, stick to the plan. I don't trust her. I should eavesdrop. Uh, you know I'm gonna spend gems to eavesdrop. I'm a nosy bitch, okay? If I find out who's on the back of that motorbike, I will ruin them. Crap, who knew that this would lead to so much drama? And how have you let this happen? You know that I would be a good fit. He's good for my political future. You have vowed to support me when I run next year. She's running and she wants Aiden on her arm. Clear this up. Our plan depends on it. You told me you would make him mine. I wonder who she's talking to. The president. Crap, someone's leaving. After the press briefing, you change into something more comfortable and go outside to get some air. And you see Aiden. <laughs> yeah, I think Ursula was talking to the president. That's my guess. I don't know. That's why he like doesn't trust people like he can't trust his dad or something. You walk up to him, your feet taking on a mind of their own and going against your head. Hey, everything okay? You didn't see the news? I did. Good thing I'm wearing a helmet, huh? Oh, it is. Okay, like, how is that our fault? How do you feel about getting away from it all for a while? Isn't that what got us in trouble in the first place? <laughs> I would love to spend some time with him again. I mean, fuck it. I never said I was responsible. I'm here to have fun. I'd love that, and actually, I've got an idea. You throw him a cheeky grin and tell him to follow you. You know, we're going to be popped together. Papped. Pap, pop, papped. We're going to be spotted together. We'll go with that. You think I'm that amateur? Meet me at the unusual cat. Noah said he would drive. What the fuck is that? <laughs> You'll see. I'll meet you there in 15 minutes. This better not be a setup. It's not. Wink. Oh my, girl. She's laying it on thick. Fifteen minutes later, Aiden walks into a fancy dress shop. Oh, are you joking me? He's like, we're going shopping. Oh, come on. No one will recognize you with a disguise on. And anyway, your plan is scuppered. That guy behind the counter has seen us already. <laughs> yeah, the worker's like, I already took your photo. Now, Thomas, you promised to keep my mouth closed, as if I tell anyone I will most likely be subject to a life sentence in prison. <laughs> oh my god. Just say he signed a DNA, or a, a DNA. Say he signed an NDA, jeez. Good boy. Oh, I'm nervous to see what these disguises are gonna look like. You got me here to ignore me. I was just texting Noah to leave. Now, what will it be? The place I want to go is around a 20 minute walk. And I know you've been complaining about feeling free, so now's your chance. Pick your disguise. Okay. <clears throat> right. C completely unrecognizable. I have no idea who these people are. Who's this? Who's on my screen? Are these new characters? <laughs> what is going on? These are the most bare, bare bone disguises ever. Like, you can't just... You had a whole ass helmet on and they didn't recognize you. How are are you actually thinking that they won't recognize this? Girl, we are stupid as hell. I look stupid. You look amazing. Let's go. He's literally just wearing a hat and sunglasses. Like, you walk past hundreds of people in the center of town, and no one bats an eyelid. You finally reach a clearing and walk through the trees and wildlife until you reach a river. I can't believe I just walked through the center of town and no one looked at me. Me either, honestly. I can't believe it either. It's that unbelievable. Did it feel good? Better than good. He smiles at you. It's not one of his usual smiles. There's genuine happiness here and you're so thrilled to see it. But this is incredible. I didn't realize this was so close by. That's because you never leave the White House. Wow, clocked you have a point. So let me ask you something. Nope, I answered your questions last time, so it's your turn. Okay, fine. I'll allow it. So tell me, uh, what do you like to do in your free time? Escape. You should know that by now. Okay, then, when you're not escaping, then I love to travel, be adventurous. Maybe one day I can see the world. This man loves to travel, but he's never... Never leaves the white house. Okay. Uh, do you have many friends? I do, but I can't see them a lot. Drink and, you know, just be a normal 
something. I have an image to uphold. You know, everyone talks. Everyone will have their own opinion. But only you will know the real you. I guess you're right. Thank you, by the way. For what? For opening up a little. It's nice to feel like there's someone here I can talk to and that I like. I happen to like you, too. You know, I've worked so hard to be here. All I do is work. I've never let my hair down. Never done anything crazy. Never lost control and fear of what it could do to my career. And being out here with you makes me just want to enjoy life for a change. I have to admit, going to that fancy dress shop with you today was a pretty big deal for me. It wasn't even that crazy and I, I felt free for a change. We should have both let loose once in a while. Actually, you've given me an amazing idea. Oh, girl, you're gonna fall in the water and drown. Do you know how to swim? You managed to step across some stepping stones to a rock. There's flash flowing water around you and you feel adrenaline pumping through your veins. To letting loose. <laughs> she said, Cowabunga do that. Be careful on that rock. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. Stop. survive. Stay tuned to find out. Episode 5. Let's get into it. And yeah, so we fell in the rock. We're drowning. Help, I can't swim. I'm coming. Oh, yeah, take it off. Take it off. Love to see it. Aiden wraps his strong arms around you and pulls you to the surface. You gasp for air as he pulls you onto the banks of the river. Aiden towers over you, panting as much as you are. Oh my goodness. He's topless, and you can't help but notice the beads of water trickling down that perfectly defined chest. Your faces are only inches apart as he looks into your eyes and brushes the wet air from your face. Thank God you're okay. I'm really sorry about that. Don't be. But... Thank you for rescuing me, really. I think you just saved my life. Then I've saved the world from losing a great person. Oh my god, thanks. Wow, I'm blushing. But he turns to face you and splashes of heat starts to spread across your cheeks. Your heart quickens and you're suddenly so aware that Aiden isn't wearing a shirt. She's like, I see his nipples. Is it bad that a little part of me was opening? I was hoping you'd need mouth to mouth. I mean, suddenly I can't breathe. Is it bad that I wouldn't have minded that? Aiden leans forward, your lips almost touching. Can I kiss you again? Um, duh. Duh. Aiden's been dying to kiss you. Suddenly, your lips collide. Your mind is a whirlwind of desire and confusion. Without thinking, you wrap your arms around his shoulders, tightening your grip and deepening your kiss. His teeth scrape along your bottom lip, sending butterflies in your stomach into a frenzy. This is dangerous as hell, but it feels so, so good. Oh, oh no, girl, no. The paparazzi just took pictures of us. We are, we're screwed. We are royally fucked. Or I guess you'd say presidentially fucked. Suddenly, you hear the click of the camera and notice a flash of light out of the corner of your eye. Don't move. I guess I can stay like this a bit longer. He's like, pose. You feel him smile on your lips. Aiden Carter, who is she? On my lead. Grab your disguise. We're going to run. Ready? I'm ready when you are. Okay. Three, two, run. You both grab your disguises, stand up, and make a run for it. Oh. And we're off like Bonnie and Clyde. Aiden grabs his phone and hastily dials a number. Noah, can you get to the bridge? You can hear the crunches of leaves and twigs as footsteps in the background getting louder as they approach you. I think they're catching up on us. Don't worry. This way, Noah is meeting us under the bridge. Aiden grabs your hand and pulls you into the forest. Oh, hello. You finally see a pair of headlights flashing in the distance. Thank God. You get back 
caught me off guard. Suddenly you hear footsteps and Aiden pushes you into the room and closes the door, holding you so tightly against him. Sorry about that, I, I just, it's fine, but now you have to be seen leaving my room, which may look even worse. He's like, I'll just sleep over. Maybe I don't want this night to be over yet. No, you're cold. Let me run the shower for you. You don't have to. I insist. I prefer a bubble bath, but I'll take it. Aiden disappears for a few moments, and you hear the shower start to run and steam bellow from the door. All ready for you. I guess I'll have a shower then. You need to warm up too. I'm not having you out here freezing. Don't worry about me. I'll warm up. Why don't you go shower? I probably shouldn't, but... Maybe you should come with me and warm me up. Maybe you should join me in the shower. I think that's a great idea. Maybe I will. Oh. You both strip down to your underwear and step under the hot shower. Well, I didn't think this is where we would end up tonight. Me neither. You're full surprises, aren't you? I think you're the one that's caught me off guard. He tilts your face towards his, your skin burning as he moves closer. This is definitely one way to warm up. You look cute when you blush. Damn it. At least you know I'm definitely warm now. And you will never know if it's the steam or you. Well, let me tell you that I'm definitely feeling warmer and it's not the steam. you into a kiss that pushes your body temperature up higher than you can cope with. Oh my, now that that's done, do you mind if I camp out here until the coast is clear? Are you just trying to spend more time with me? Maybe. You know you're going to have to hang out with me until the coast is clear, don't you? I don't mind that at all. Damn. That kind of cute or whatever. The next day, you wake to find that Aiden's not there. Uh, of course he's not here. Whatever happened last night, it was because we were wrapped up in the moment. And that's all it's ever going to be. A moment. Sure, girl. Sure. You check your phone and see a million messages from Allie. You kissed him. You're all over the news. Oh, no. The front page of the internet. Call me back now. I know it's you with those sneakers. We really need to get a new pair of sneakers, my god. Call me the minute you're awake. Oh, god. You take a moment, scrolling through the pictures. Thank God they can't see your face. Your phone bings again. This time, it's March. Are you kidding me? You are in the news. Get me my story or I will get you fired. Why do we change our contact name from March to Boss? I don't think it was Boss initially. I worked so hard to get here and I can't screw this up. But I like him. I really like him. Fuck. What shall I reply? Leave her on bread. I don't give a fuck about that bitch. She don't need a response from me. I'll deal with that later. Maybe if I just write something, anything about Aiden, it won't be so bad, right? No. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Please don't do this. It'll make him look and sound amazing. Maybe I can kickstart his candidacy. That's what I'll do. He doesn't want to be the president. He doesn't want to be a candidate. Have you not listened to anything this guy has told you? Come on, girl. You are so stupid. You spend that afternoon writing about how incredible Aiden is. How people should get to know the person behind the president. But I'm still writing about him, and I promised him I wasn't bothered about that. Exactly. Oh, no, we're not going to leave the laptop. <laughs> Why? Why? Oh, we're screwed. He's going to find it. Hey, you've ran up to us. He's it. I've actually been looking for you everywhere. You have? Yeah, I, um, I wondered if you were coming to the White House Ball. I don't think I've been invited. Guess I'm not important enough. What about if I asked you to come with me? As a date? Yeah, I'd love to. Great, it's tonight. Tonight? <laughs> he gave us fucking no time, Jesus Christ. But I have nothing to wear. I'm sure you'll find something. Oh, thank God I found you. Miss Haley, the chief of staff, wants to see you ASAP. Oh, no. No. It's about to get juicy, y'all. You summoned me. I did. I want you to do some digging for me. I'm sorry, I'm not some undercover agent. 
no, you're a child pretending to do an adult's job. Ooh. But no, I need you to find out who this girl is. Oh, thank God she doesn't know it's me. Do your own digging. Uh, do your own dirty work. It's not my job. Didn't you say you're a journalist? Aren't you supposed to be good at snooping? Anyway, it's important to the president, so you have to do it. Then he can ask me. Yeah, that's what I thought, brat. You don't care about Aiden at all. I need to warn him. This girl is clearly only after fame. You know, maybe I should warn him too. I overheard your conversation the other day and sounds like you're trying to plan out his future for your own gain. You, you know, maybe I should be an undercover agent. Are you wearing the fucking sneakers? <sighs> this bitch. What are you looking at? Nothing. No! Now get the hell out of my office. I have a ball to get ready for. Shit is about to hit the fan. I am scared. You'll send Marge a an email in the morning saying you're not to be blackmailed. Girl, you should probably delete the article off the freaking computer. <sighs> you look at Aiden across the room. Damn, he looks handsome tonight. You look stunning. Thank you for the dress. It's the least I could have done. May I have this dance? I should say yes excitedly. Yes, I would love to. You dance the night away in Aiden's arms, losing yourself for the moment. What are you thinking about? How sometimes you can be so wrapped up in things that you forget to look around. So, you've been looking around. Like what you see. I like it too much. That's the problem. Problem. Sorry to interrupt, but we have a situation, Aiden. A situation. Yes, your dance partner here is trying to play you. Oh no. Ursula, don't you fucking dare. What? What are you talking about? We know she's still working in the gossip magazine. She recently left. Aiden, I don't... What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. You're lying and you have no proof of anything. Don't I? Oh no, this is not looking good. This is not looking good. Uh, okay, well... Let's play episode number six. The last episode that I'm gonna play for this video, but don't you worry. I will play the last half, the last six episodes in a video very soon, so stay tuned for part two. I would never do that to Aiden. You've been caught. There's no point in trying to get around it. It's over. You won't have a position here for much longer. Just because Aiden is part of a grand plan for you doesn't mean I'm using him. That's not how I work. What do you mean a grand plan? I overheard you. I know about your plans for Aiden. Well, you should explain that to your old boss. She tells a different story. What? How did she? How could she? What did she say? Anyway, I'll deal with you tomorrow. Enjoy your evening. <gasps> She's not even going to expose us right now. Evil what? Honestly, though, she kind of slayed to make us wait. Aiden, I... Please don't tell me he's going to throw a fit and run away before we even get a chance to explain ourselves. That's so stupid. I can't have him thinking the wrong thing. I need to go clear the air. I need to clear my name and make sure he believes me. Yes. Aiden, please. I can't believe this. I'm not leaving until you hear me out about what's going on. You know, Ursula wouldn't have said that unless she had proof. So now you trust Ursula? Like, I... I don't understand. She's a witch, but she wouldn't fabricate anything. She didn't. But she misunderstood. I can show you the messages. My old boss, well, she's a piece of work. So she's trying to blackmail you. I can't believe this. My old boss is threatening to show my identity to the world if I don't write something sordid about you. I can see why you left them. Let's go into my room and discuss this more. <laughs> yes, I would love to go in your room. Let's go. I don't want anyone overhearing us. 
I said I would get back to her, only so I can buy time to talk to you. I don't want to do that to you. I love this job, and I don't want to do anything to jeopardize it. Especially not by hurting you. I knew you were one of the good ones. Oh, I can't deny I'm scared of losing my job and losing you. You're not going to lose either, and I'll make sure of that. You're the first person that I've ever felt something for. Did he really just say that? I need to let him know how I feel. I've got feelings for you too, Aiden. You want to know a secret too? Always. I've never felt like this about anyone. I can't stop thinking about you. And I can't stop thinking about you either. Now let's get out of here. Sounds perfect. Well, I'm glad we cleared it up because I really thought that Miss Ursula was about to blackmail us and I was looking a fool and that Aiden was going to be all mad, but we talked it out. Like, mature adults. I love that. He takes your hand and leads you to a car. Your heart is pounding. Every moment with him is thrilling. The next day, you wake up feeling optimistic and go to see Noah for your daily itinerary. Good morning, Noah. What's the plan for today? Well, the chief of staff wants to see you today. Urgently. Then you have a meeting an hour later with the president himself. <sighs> That's not looking good. This doesn't sound good. Let's look on the bright side. I don't know if I can when it comes to Ursula. It's fine. You can take it. Thank you. So, you must be doing something right. I got a message from Aiden himself this morning. What? Is everything okay? I'm not sure. Are you sure you don't want to talk? I'll be fine, I think. I'll just go to my meeting. Okay, good luck, miss. Ursula. Are you going to accuse me of something else now? I like Ursula's outfit. I really do, I can't lie. Despite the fact that I know you're talking to a gossip magazine, I know it's you that's riding on the back of his motorbike at night. You step foot in this place for less than a week, and you've already got him wrapped around your little finger. Yeah, that's right. And what about it? I don't have him wrapped around anything. I'm wrapped around him. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Aiden and I happen to like each other, and, well, we're just seeing what happens. Oh, please. You're after him for his money and status. I've met a million girls like you. I assure you, I'm not. I came here for my career, and I intend to focus on just that. So, leave Aiden alone and write, and not for gossip magazines. You know I'm not writing for them. And if someone told you otherwise, they're lying. Look, you little tramp, I don't trust you. The president doesn't trust you, so why don't you just quit while you're ahead? Walk out the door now, and I'll give you a half-decent reference for your next job. Girl, no. Try again. Come in. Ursula. Oh, I didn't realize you were coming to my office. No one informed me. I wanted to pick up my next meeting. Oh, again, I'm sorry, sir. I didn't realize we had one. Not you. Haley. Hopefully this is a good meeting. I don't know. Oh, no. Is your job in trouble? Find out in the next episode. Well, that is the first half of The President's Son. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see the next six episodes, the second half, stay tuned on my channel. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications because I'll be posting the next half in like a week or two. So keep an eye out. And again, I want to thank Episode for working with me on today's video. This was so, so exciting. One of 